Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Forza Horizon 5 to take a look at different tires and tire compounds to find out what I feel is great for drifting other than drift tires. So we are on stock tires. We are in a ZL1 with drift suspension, drift diff, intake, and exhaust. Otherwise, it is about stock. So this is about 650 horsepower and we are going to be testing it on stock tires and then we're going to be changing up to some horizon tires as well as the drift tires themselves so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all in the description box below let's send it so like i said oh, i wanted to test different tires out for drifting and see how they feel and how they react. Now I can definitely tell that these tires are very loose when it comes to in the front, but the stock stock tires are actually not bad. And some other people looks like they're drifting out here. Oh, I entered that too soon. So stock tires are doing quite well. I thought they would be doing I thought they'd be a little bit too slippery, but they're actually not too too bad like I said this car has about 500 or 650 horsepower and it is on a base drift suspension I did not tune it I did not change drift suspension or anything this is exactly how the drift suspension comes when you put it on the car Ooh, I'm noticing a little bit of plus of grip but overall, these stock tires with the, tr you know, the transition is actually surprisingly quite well. It's a little slow. But overall, the, the tires handle quite nice, as you can see on the stock tires. It definitely, you don't need drift tires to drift uh, at all. I'm actually thoroughly impressed with these. We're going to do one more final rip through this section. Get some full speed going on here. I didn't want to smack that wall too bad. A clutch kick. Overall, not terrible at all. So we're gonna switch up tires and uh, we're gonna try it again. So I think the next is actually going to be um, Horizon semi-slick tires. Um, that is the next set of tires on our checklist for this. We're gonna go with tires and we're gonna go to semi-slicks and then we have slick race compounds. So we have semi-slick race and then we have slicks and then we have drift tires. I don't think we're gonna do rally compound or mudding compound, we may. So first we're gonna go into the semi-slicks. We're going to install the semi-slicks on this. And so we have 682 horsepower is what we're at with this car, 682. And like I said, it's got drift suspension, drift diff. And I widened the front track as wide as it could go. Otherwise, it has just an intake and exhaust, full race intake and exhaust on it. For the noise. All right, so semi-slick Horizon tires. Obviously, much more forward speed. But still able to actually get sideways. I feel like there could be a lot more speed involved with these. But you do need a lot more RPM. I don't know if we'll be able to actually do this in third. So the angle is a lot less and you do need a lot more wheel spin and speed obviously because it's a semi-slick tire, it's not a stock tire.
but overall not bad we're gonna take it on the dirt for a second oh yeah no bad idea oh boy bad idea dirt so when it comes to comparing these to the stock tires i do think i prefer the stock tires over these right now just because of the power of this car so right there it kind of bogged in third kind of had to do a quick little downshift but i didn't think we were going to actually make that turn Great for some really high speed sections like this turn, it's really good on. Oh, wall tap. Got Shadow Hulk just doing some drift lines, it looks like. So now we're gonna go back to the garage and go into. I gotta get the uh, two lace out of the side of my ankle. Uh, go to the slick tires because that will be the next tire on this list will be slick tires and then we go into drift tires so my overall impressions stock tires do handle way better than semi slicks but now we're gonna go into the slick racing compounds which i do not think is going to work very well at all but that's what we're here to find out we're definitely going to test this now if you had like a thousand some horsepower car maybe you could feel a lot better on the semi slicks than you do things but this is basically i would have died this is on a 680 horsepower build okay there's a lot more front grip feel oh actually not as much control surprisingly i was kind of there's actually not as much control in the front end I thought there might be a lot more control in the front end, but it's actually not a lot of control. The wheel does feel very weird. And I'm kind of a uh, little, little flabbergasted by the way this is actually, the wheel does feel light when you're in slide on these semi, on these full slick tires. I wonder if it's, because obviously they're slick race tires, so there's no real grooves for essentially a side bite. Yeah, we're actually losing more control with these than I anticipated. Oh, we lost our wing. It's fine. Yeah, actually, these do not handle really good at all. So I would definitely not recommend lick tires on the car if you are doing drifting. So we're going to go and put on the drift compound tires, which is the, obviously the tires that they tell you to use when you're drifting, but we're going to see how it compares to the other ones that I did. I was talking about doing this comparison on all these tires for a while. So that's why we're here today to do this. So now we go to the drift tires. So in theory, these should handle, well, why did I just put snows on? It's not snowing. Uh, in theory, these should handle the best when it comes to drifting for the drift compound. So let's go drift compound tires. Just spent like $40,000 in tires, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Let's go full send on drift compound and see how they feel with that compared to the other ones. much more wheel spin as you can see I would not be able to get any wheel spin out of any of the other tires in fourth gear at all so obviously a lot more wheel spin and uh, these tires are probably very good for a very low horsepower car I thought we were gonna fit it into there So if they do, they are a lot more smoother when it comes to how the car is reacting in drift, for sure. You don't have to be as twitchy if you notice it. The steering is a lot easier. I'm not like fighting around the wheel as much like I was with the other ones. And you can get a lot more wheel spin 
out of these tires. Because of the grip level being, you know, designed for drifting, I guess you would say. A little high speed fourth. Not a big enough turn. We're going to go to this big SC section up here. And we we'll see what we can do. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. This gear. Thunder. Nope. Not a big enough turn. Oh boy. Oh, we're dying. Really long, you big drag. A little bit of a curve pop. So just a little bit of a comparison for you guys on the tires and my take on them. Now you may think that some of the tires are better suited for better cars. I personally think the drift tires are good for low horsepower cars and the semi slicks are actually very good for um, medium to higher horsepower cars. Um, the drift tires do feel very well on this car obviously, but I think I prefer the semi slicks in this setup on this car with this power band and things like that because I would have got a little bit more grip through that section and wouldn't have had to slow down as much I feel so that is about gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 5 big thank you guys for you guys coming out and watching appreciate all the support I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and as always I like thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track oh that's a wall oh that's somebody's front door <clears throat> Oops.